Okay, so I'm making this video quickly just to give an update on my hormone use. So I've seen that my hair is falling out more and um, I'm actually not sure what is it. Um, is it that my progesterone is too low and it's affecting the thyroid horm hormones which is apparently very dangerous for your heart and your bones and everything or is it um, maybe that my estrogen is low and so my body is making more DHEA and this testosterone is converting to DHT which kills the hair follicles so I read that progesterone can stop that conversion from happening so that's why I wanted to increase my progesterone so I almost got a a Depo-Provera shot today and then I read that Depo-Provera one of the side effects is hair loss just like with Primar and Cream one of the side effects is hair loss so you just don't know what the hell is causing the hair loss um, and I'm scared to take Depo-Provera because it can have progesterone can have also an androgenic effect you know um, and it can cause scalp hair thinning that's one of the dangers the other thing is it can cause calcium loss in the bones long-term use and it can reduce bone density so I'm so confused what to do um, the reason I wanted to use Depo Provera is because the state pays for hormone therapy I'm sorry for birth control for free right and I'm just really in a very difficult financial situation so every time to buy these hormones cost a fortune um, someone told me my progesterone is a little bit low so I don't actually know what to do you know I was almost gonna take the Pro Provera and then I got scared about the side effects I am um, I did read this one article that they said that what they did for this woman is to lower her estrogen and increase her progesterone and then everything went fine after a few months so I'm just wondering you know that's a way to maybe stop this whole DHT that's killing the hair follicles I think that's it possibly it could be the thyroid hormone that is too low um, because of low progesterone or I'm not sure anymore you know and I had a really bad day thinking about all of it because I'm scared to play doctor doctor and mess things up I kind of did already like I took the hormone tablets the doctor gave me but it's only one milligram which is so much lower than everyone's taking on my support group so I just put a patch as well which you're not really supposed to do and I added gels and I felt really weird in my head you know for a moment when the estrogen was probably breaking up um, you can literally feel where it works when you take it um, so yeah I mean that was my day you know I think I'm sort of onto it but I'm scared of just doing things on my own and messing things up because I've got a knack for that reputation for that yeah so um, I might try the Depo Provera if I get enough guts to do it <clears throat> but I was thinking it might be safer to get a progesterone only pull but then the progesterone is so low again it's only gonna be um, you know the progesterone only pull is called the mini pull and it only has 10 micrograms which is so so low um, I don't know is it even worth it to take that um, in my support group I did see some women use um, um, they use sorry for that noise some some women do use um, birth control for HRT but um, they don't have good results so I don't think it's strong enough or you know it works correctly for HRT use 
Um, okay, thanks for watching.